Hi, this is Shadi on behalf of Elite Minds. I am recording this video to show you the key steps of a properly designed risk management methodology as per the Project Management Institute standards. So if you are working in the project management field, if you are working as a risk manager, or if you are preparing for the risk management professional exam, this video will be very beneficial for you. So the seven steps of a risk management methodology will start with planning risk management, then we will identify the project risks, then we will perform the qualitative or the subjective analysis, quantitative or objective risk analysis, and then planning the proper risk responses, implementing risk responses, and finally we will monitor and close the project risks. So starting with the first step, planning risk management, it's the process of defining how to conduct risk management activities for a project. So in this process, we will think in advance how we will be conducting all the risk management activities throughout the project, starting with the planning through the execution till the monitor and closure of the project risks. Now, what are the benefits of this process? It ensures that the degree, type, and visibility of risk management are proportionate to both risks and the importance or the priority of the project to the organization. We don't want to do extra planning for the project risks. The efforts spent on the project risk management should be proportionate to the degree of risk in the project and the criticality of the project for the organization. This process is conducted as part of the planning phase throughout the project. In order to start planning for risk management, you need to have the approved project charter. You need to have all the components of the project management plan. You will use some of the project documents, mainly the stakeholder register to know who are the stakeholders you will be interviewing in order to plan for risk management. And definitely we will need the enterprise environmental factors and the organizational process assets. Once you have these inputs, the tools and techniques we can use for this process are the expert judgment. You need to consult with the experts within the organization or even out of the organization. We will conduct stakeholder analysis as a technique for this process. It's a data analysis technique in order to determine the risk appetite and the risk thresholds of the stakeholders. Also, we will conduct some meetings in order to plan for the risk management throughout the project. One key output will be the result of plan risk management process. It will be the risk management plan that includes the strategy and the methodology we will be using for the project risk management, roles, responsibilities, timing, and budget of risk management activities, the PI or the probability and impact definitions and the probability and impact matrix in addition to the reporting formats. These are the key sections of the risk management plan. Once we have a solid risk management plan, we can start identifying the project risks. This process of identifying individual project risks as well as sources of overall project risk and documenting the key characteristics of all the identified risks. So throughout this process, we will use techniques like brainstorming, expert judgment, interviews, focus groups in order to identify as much as possible of the potential threats and opportunities in the project. Also, we will be determining the key characteristics of those identified risks. Now, the key benefit of this process is the documentation of existing individual project risks and the sources of overall project risk in the project. So we will not focus only on the individual project risks, we will focus also on the sources of the overall project risk that will impact more than one project objective. And this process is conducted as part of the planning phase in the project. We will need a lot of the project management plan components like the requirements management plan, like the schedule, cost, quality resources, and risk management plan in addition to the performance baselines. Some of the project documents we will be using includes the assumption log, the cost estimates, duration estimates, and so on. We will need the agreements, the contracts we already signed with other vendors or third parties, the, the agreements or the contracts with the procurement documentation will be a potential source for identifying the project risks, the enterprise environmental factors, and the organizational process assets. There are a lot of methods, tools, techniques that can be used to identify the project risks, such as the expert judgment, 
data gathering techniques like the brainstorming sessions, checklists, and interviews, data analysis techniques like the root cause analysis, SWOT analysis, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats should be identified as part of this process, document analysis, and assumption and constraint analysis. All these are data analysis techniques that can be used in risks identification. Facilitation will be used at, as, as well, prompt lists and meetings. Now, the key outputs of this process will be the risk register that includes all the identified risks in this process with the key characteristics in addition to the risk report, which will give you a brief about the overall project risk exposure. And some project documents might be updated as an outcome of this process, like the assumptions log. Once risk identification is over, we can start performing the qualitative risk analysis process or the subjective risk analysis process. In this process, we will prioritize the identified risks in the previous step. The process of prioritizing project risks for further analysis or action by assessing their probability of occurrence and impact and other characteristics. So the key purpose of this process is to have a prioritized list of the individual identified risks in the project. It focuses efforts on high priority risks. For complex projects, you can have like 200 or 300 risks in the project and you cannot conduct further analysis for all these risks. So the key objective of performing qualitative risk analysis is to focus our effort and our time on the highest priority risks. It's part of the planning phase of the project. In order to start this process, we will need the risk management plan, which is part of the project management plan. We will need some project documents like the assumption log and the risk register and the stakeholder register in addition to the enterprise environmental factors and the organizational process assets. Tools and techniques in order to conduct subjective risk analysis will include the expert judgment. You will conduct interviews with subject matter experts and important stakeholders. Some of the data analysis techniques that can be used include the risk data quality assessment and the risk probability and impact assessment. In addition, we will use the facilitation to conduct the interviews and the sessions. You will use the risk categorization. The probability and impact matrix will be the most important tool to prioritize the project risks in addition to the meetings. As an outcome of this process, we will have some of the project documents updated, including the risk register, risk report, assumption log, and the issue log. Actually, the key outputs of the remaining risk management steps or processes will be updates to the risk register and the risk report. For some risks, not for all the project risks, performing quantitative risk analysis process will be conducted. It's the process of numerically analyzing the combined effect of identified individual project risks and other sources of uncertainty on overall project objectives. So here it's a deeper analysis, it's a numerical analysis, where we will assess the combined effect of all the key priority risks on the project. The effect on the project objectives, the key benefits of this process, it quantifies the project risk exposure, like we will have that the level of risk in the project is 200,000 US dollars, for example, or the impact on the duration might be up to 60 working days. This is the objective of conducting the quantitative risk analysis process. It can also provide additional quantitative risk information to support risk response planning. The outcome of this process will support the following one, which is a plan risk responses. This process also, it is part of the planning phase in the project. We will need the project management plan as an input to this process, mainly the risk management plan that will show us how we are going to conduct the quantitative risk analysis activities. In addition to the performance baselines that are part of the project management plan, we will need also some project documents like the assumption log, the cost estimates, the duration estimates, and definitely the risk register and the risk report. They are key inputs to this process. Also, we will need the enterprise environmental factors and the organizational process assets. Now, the tools and techniques will be expert judgment, conducting interviews, doing facilitation for the sessions, representation of uncertainty, data analysis techniques like simulation, sensitivity analysis, decision tree analysis, and influence diagrams. And the most important technique we will be using is the simulation using the Monte Carlo simulation software. 
the outputs of this process will be updates to the risk report showing the combined effect of the key project risks on the project objectives once we are done with the risk analysis the qualitative and the quantitative analysis we will start planning for risk responses it's the process of developing options selecting strategies and agreeing on actions to address overall project risk exposure as well as to treat individual project risks so this is the most important process as part of the planning phase when it comes to risk management in this process we will develop the appropriate actions to deal with the identified and analyzed project risks so the inputs to this process will be from all the previous risk management processes why we are doing this process it identifies ways to address overall project risk and individual project risks it also allocates resources and inserts activities into the project as needed we want to address the overall project risk we want to minimize the probability or the impact of the threats and increase the probability or the impact of the opportunities this process is the last risk management process as part of the planning phase we will use the project management plan specifically the risk management plan as an input for this process also we will use some of the project documents like the lessons learned register the project schedule the risk register and risk report in addition to the stakeholder register also we will need the enterprise environmental factors and the organizational process assets now the tools and techniques of this process includes expert judgment data gathering techniques like interviews interpersonal and team skills like facilitation we will use the best practices and strategies to deal with the threats with the opportunities and with the overall project risk in addition to, to the contingent response strategies we will use some of the data analysis techniques like the alternative analysis and cost benefit analysis in addition to the decision analysis techniques and specifically the multi-criteria decision analysis the outputs of this process will be change requests to update the project management plan the project documents and the performance baselines as per the developed response plans also there will be some updates to the project management plan components like the schedule cost quality resources procurement and scope management plan some of the project documents will be updated as well like the assumption log the risk register and the risk report now we have the agreed upon risk response plans we can start the execution and the implementation of those risk responses it is the process of implementing agreed upon risk response plans it ensures that the risk responses are executed as planned in order to address overall project risk exposure minimize threats and maximize opportunities so in this process simply we will execute what we planned for in step number five it's part of the execution phase of the project the inputs we will be needing are the project management plan as the key input mainly the risk management plan also the project documents like the lessons learned register the risk register and risk report in addition to the organizational process assets three tools and techniques will be used while implementing risk responses the expert judgment influencing as an interpersonal skill in addition to the project management software or system you are using in your project and the key outputs will be change requests and updates to some project documents like the issue log the lessons learned register risk register and risk report now the last process is monitoring the implementation of the risk responses and measuring the effectiveness of risk management activities on the project monitor risks it's the process of monitoring the implementation of risk response plans tracking identified risks identifying new risks and evaluating risk process effectiveness throughout the project it enables decisions to be based on the current information about the overall project risk exposure and individual project risks so this process is very important to support key decision making it is part of the monitoring and controlling phase of the project the inputs we will be using includes the project management plan some of the project documents like the risk register and the risk report we will be using as well the work performance data and work performance information tools and techniques will be data analysis techniques like the technical performance analysis reserve analysis meetings and risk audits to measure the effectiveness of risk management activities throughout the project and the key outputs will be the work performance information change requests project management plan updates 
and mainly the components that will be updated includes any component of the performance baselines or of the subsidiary plans some of the project documents might be updated like the assumption log issue log lessons learned register risk register and risk report and updates to the organizational process assets this is the risk management methodology which can be applied and tailored to any project regardless of the project size complexity and industry to learn more about the risk management practices the project risk management check out our website elitemines.co